tortured me, who spread lies about me and tried to get people against me because she made a huge deal out of a fucking drawing? Do you understand how crazy she is? Do you understand how crazy Cole Kelly is? Do you understand that people are fucking stalking me? And I'm afraid for my fucking life right now! Not just because of fucking creepy ass fucking stalkers, but because I can't take this anymore! I can't fucking take this anymore! I can't! I can't! I, why won't you guys just leave me the fuck alone? All I've ever done was try to defend myself because I'm sick and tired of being bullied and I hate this! I hate this! Then I manipulated 
you. I don't even remember who the fuck you are. You people are calling my fans white knights. Do you know what fucking knights are supposed to do? They're supposed to rescue people. All right? My fans may support me, and they may defend me without me telling them to, with me telling them not to. I don't know why you stupid people are still trying to claim that I send people on you because I fucking don't, you stupid idiots! You stupid fucking morons! And saying that death threats are me saying that I want you to die? I don't care how you die, I just want you to die! I'm not gonna do it! Okay? Just because I say I want you to choke, or just because I vent my anger by saying I want something to happen to an anonymous person that I didn't even name? You guys telling me that I'm transphobic because you support a term as a slur, not realizing that plenty of other terms, innocent terms like gay and autistic, are also fucking used as slurs? Fucking telling me I'm a fucking pedophile when you don't even know the definition, and you obviously have not read the law, the Protection Act of 2003? Because you're fucking uneducated and you're lazy and you choose not to do these things because you fucking hate me. And why do you think I fucking... Why do you think you fucking hate me? Because I fucking blocked you for being an asshole. I blocked somebody for being transphobic and all of a sudden I'm the bad guy. It's not my fault that you misunderstand things that I say. Again, I might... Be fucking autistic! I can't get my diagnosis yet, but that is a very, very strong possibility, so I'm sorry if you don't understand the things I say! I try and I try and I try and when people accuse me of being rude to people and I read back the comment that they screenshot it and I can't fucking see where I was rude to someone who wasn't rude first. It makes me feel like everybody else is just fucking stupid and you know how I know that you guys are stupid and there's not something wrong with me because I have intelligent people, not supporters, not fans, but friends I know in real life and my fucking fiance, who is mentally healthy, and who is extremely intelligent, looking at it, and going, what the fuck? You guys are reaching toward conclusions, making up your own definitions, and you're driving me fucking insane. I can't stand this anymore. What, no, you're just gonna be like, oh, she's doing a pity, she, she, she wants pity, she wants sympathy. How many fucking times do I have to say that's not what I want? I just want understanding and I want people to leave me alone. I, <coughs> I can't handle this anymore. I can't do it. I can't do this anymore. Oh, just get off the internet. Okay, I'm gonna cut off my only line of being able to be social just because I'm an introvert and just because I don't like being near people because of my social anxiety disorder, something I was born with and do not choose to have, doesn't mean that I'm not a human being a social species who needs to socialize. And my fiance is at work 40 hours a fucking week. I have friends online who I like to socialize with. And I need to vent about things because I don't have a therapist. Because of COVID, because I can't get married, because of stupid COVID, I don't have insurance. If you don't fucking 
fucking like me, then fucking cure me! If you don't like the things that I say, fucking ignore them! Oh, wah! You don't like that I have an opinion! Wah! I'm not targeting you! I'm not looking at your Twitter! I'm not trying to find you guys and seeing everything you say about me! I found this by accident! I guess it's not necessarily an accident. Somebody, somebody was like, yeah, there, there are, there are, is like, examples of you being mean first. And they show me three things that you guys screenshotted for this, the anti-ray, uh, anti-ray place, which is a fucking, you, you guys are, I'm sorry. I don't usually say this word in this state, in this way. You are fucking retarded. I know retarded doesn't mean stupid, but you are fucking retarded. Like, you are beyond stupid. Because all three of these examples did not show any of me throwing the first stone. But that's how I discovered this stupid piece of shit what a discord isn't enough for you I don't know what to do and the worst part is is you people telling me I brought it on myself is you people telling me that you're not cyberbullying me? You're being completely civil? No, you're fucking not. You're fucking not. Posting videos of me venting about things that bother me so that I don't have a fucking attack? Things that I say that, by the way, again, are not threats and are not hurting anybody and the one that did I apologize for and by the way I don't know if you guys got the memo but I had a fucking panic attack because I realized that I heard for the first time by the way something I said that I would never say and yet I said it and I didn't remember saying it and I would never mean it that way but that's how it came out and I said it and I fucking apologized and I thought I was being transparent by posting my panic attack, but no, apparently that was fake too! And I bet all this yelling is fake too, isn't it? I bet... I bet if I fucking killed myself, then that would be fake too. I don't want to do that to my family! I cannot take this anymore. <laughs> and I'm doing, I'm doing something that I hope will stop it. And if, if it, if it, if it can't stop it, I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> If you hate me, just leave me alone. I don't care your opinions about me, but I do care about being harassed and attacked and bullied, and I'm not that important! Why are you obsessed with me? I feel like I should point out some of the bullshit on this Reddit. And you're just gonna laugh and say, oh my gosh, she's so stupid. <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe you fucking people. First off, the disclaimer by Midnight Muffin. 
This subreddit is absolutely not by any means mean to encourage people to harass Radonna or her fans only to vent and rant about her as a person that thinks she's created muffins, playing a fire, etc. just because she has set armies of teenagers after various years. No, I haven't, you fucking liar! And let me tell you something about Midnight Muffin. She is a grand liar. She is, she lies about everything. And this is no exception. Doesn't mean we're automatically supposed to do the same. Well, you know what? You guys do do the same. You guys do worse. You do the exact things you accuse me of doing. If it is discovered that you have harassed anyone because of the subreddit, is encouraged that you be reported and promptly banned from the group. Okay? So everybody should be banned. It's not like Ratana can rightfully report us. Because they don't break any rules. Trust me, I checked. Yeah, so did I. She complains about us ranting about her for months on end, yet what has she been doing about her mother for the past several years? Oh my god. You guys are comparing yourself to Aaron? You guys are psychopaths. We are allowed to complain. I haven't been complaining about Aaron. I have been hating her. Because she's a monster. In, in the video titled, My Bottle Needs to be Emptied Now, around the three hour mark uploaded by Rayton herself, she tells her fans not to go after people like us. So any fans that are here, be civil, honey. Yeah. Let's see. Just because she has sent armies of teenagers after various us users being via our DeviantArt, and then she tells her fans to not go after people like us. Wow. Amazing. Amazing! One of the things, it's titled, I'm not rude unless you are. So, I guess I, I vented about something on my YouTube in the community section. And somebody replied, I really hope this isn't about those notes that I gave you about your mistakes in your writing in that Minky Pie video. Okay, well, I don't know who this person is. And I asked, who are you? And then they replied, I gave you notes in your Who's Minkie Pie's video you made. I gave you some soft criticism uh, for it, but you disregarded it. It's fine. Okay, I said, LOL, I have no idea who you are, but if I disregarded it, that means I didn't agree with it. But you should always ask somebody if they want criticism or not. Just don't give it to, the, to someone without invitation. Why was this screenshotted and posted? And why is it titled, I'm not rude unless you are? I don't see any problems here. I didn't know who this person was. I don't remember the remarks that were made. Okay? But if I, re if I disregarded it, which they said is fine, then if I disagree with your soft criticism, then I disagree with it. I'm not obligated to take your advice, but if it was really soft criticism, then... You know, did did the person think that their soft criticism deserved whatever hate I was giving in in my in my little rant thing? Because I don't know, I don't know who you are. I I don't I don't understand why this was posted. And then and then let's see, what is this? Apple Bloom. I was listening to Apple Bloom gets her cutie mark today. Don't hate me. I don't like Raytana, but Muffins is pretty entertaining. So, so, this person expects to be hated for liking something I created. 
That's already a bad sign. And it explains how Apple Bloom started, quote-unquote, baking. Apple Bloom followed Pinky into her basement where the victims were killed, and Pinky started crying because she didn't want to kill Apple Bloom. So as you probably know, Apple Bloom becomes Pinky's helper and starts torturing and killing. My question is, why did Pinky not want to kill Apple? Pinky isn't above killing children as shown in Pinky's turn. Maybe Pinky had an emotional connection to her, but Pinky was able to kill the main six. Seems like a pretty oversight to me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But... Do you really think I wasn't going to address this later? It's not an oversight! It's a side story that I haven't completed yet! I shouldn't, I shouldn't have to release the titles to all to the rest of the stories just wait okay i know i know you're probably trying to be civil but i know also that because you hate me you decided it's an oversight do you th really think i don't have this stuff planned out that's not nearly as bad as other things but Raytana has a very strange idea of what's, uh, oh, if what civility looks like. She posted an, an uh, advice request in r slash cyberbullying about all the stuff that's happened in the past two weeks, and to anyone that responded to her, tried to hold her accountable for what she said. She replied with uh, paragraphs about why she was in the wrong and then asked them to be civil, even though most people there were being nothing but. Meanwhile, most of her replies consist of her cursing, caps, and threatening, threatening to report people. Like, come on, man. Oh my god. The idiocy. I cannot stand it. Oh, did I mention that the... that the... the description for this is... This is a safe haven for everyone against Reddit user Raytonization, who is also on other social media platforms such as YouTube and DMR. This includes current fans who don't approve of certain things she has said or done, former fans who have, who have been done dirty by her, and people who have hated her all along. Okay, person who ha who thinks I have a very strange idea of what civility looks like. For one, I have been spoken to by very many civil people who were against me, maybe are, maybe still don't like me, who approached me and were civil. Okay, civility isn't a spectrum. You're supposed to have manners, and you're supposed to, well, be civil. I think you have a very strange of what civility is, idea of what civility looks like. So meanwhile, most of my replies consist of me cursing. Um, I don't remember cursing at the people. I'm sorry if my normal speech has cursing in it if I say, well, then this shit happened, not you are a piece of shit. Who cares if there's cursing? It's the context of it. Caps? Oh, oh no. Like I haven't said this a billion times. Okay. If, if a sentence or a paragraph contains a few letters or a few words in all caps don't you think that maybe that isn't yelling don't you think that maybe you should read it the same way it sounds don't you think that i'm not the only one who does this i use all caps words for emphasis instead of italics especially when i can't use italics okay to her and threatening to report people threatening to report people who harass me okay honey i don't usually use pet words in a condescending way but i am right now honey do you understand no i feel like you're choosing not to understand How about you apologize for things that actually matter? 
oh, I'm sorry, but apologizing for saying something so terrible doesn't matter? Wah. You, you, you think that, that it doesn't matter that I said something that sounded like somebody deserved and was her fault for being raped. Do you think that doesn't matter? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry you feel that way. It's good to know, Midnight Muffin, that you are for people being raped. It's good to know. Midnight Muffin, that time Raytana threatened me. Okay, this isn't even a, let's see, choice to say rude and or insulting things. That's why there's a blocking function. You ask wipes. Honestly, it makes me wish I could track her down and beat the shit out of her. She's been singing a different tune, even if all I did was stand in front of her. I'd skip my meds and maybe then she'd learn not to abuse and lie about people. I still cannot believe she isn't. Okay. Honestly, it makes me wish I could track her down and beat the shit out of her. Not, I'm going to track you down and beat the shit out of you. What is wrong with you? Oh, you know what? Midnight Muffin? I've known for a long time that there's something wrong with you. Anyone else read Raytana's most recent community post on YouTube? I have no words for it. Well, I don't even know what they're talking about. Raytana's recent video has comments re-enabled. That didn't last very long, did it? Um, for one, which video? This was 13 days ago. For two, there were two videos that I forgot to disable comments on because it's under a little tab that says... I don't remember exactly what it says, but it says um, advanced options or stuff where it, it didn't used to be like that. So I've had to get used to putting, having to manually do that. I'm sorry. Again, Midnight Muffin, you've always, always been just a really messed up person. Muffins, anyone ever notice how fucking lazy she is with the Cloudy Quartz voice? What do you mean, lazy? I made her sound like an old woman. What do you mean, lazy? It didn't even sound like me. Well, I mean, in a way, it... All of the voices I do will sound like me. That That's how you recognize people. That's how you realize that, you know, Sean Schemmel is is Goku, and um, I believe he's also Yajirobe, and he's also Korin. That's how you realize that Christopher Sabot, or Sabot, I don't know how, is, is Vegeta, and Piccolo, and Yamcha. And that's how you know that um, Tara Strong is Twilight. Bubbles, Timmy Turner. Okay? What the fuck? What do you mean fucking lazy I am with the Cloudy Quartz voice? <laughs> Apparently, Raytana cut her brother out of her life for smoking weed. Does anyone know more about this? Okay. Yeah, I did. And he told me that I should too. And he told me that I was being like Aaron. You know he was abused by Aaron too. My my, it, this isn't just my fight. It was his fight too. He ran away. But yeah, I cut him out. Big deal. Midnight Muffin, I found this question on Raytana's profile. Do you think it's gross and creepy like I do? Males who have twin brothers, do you have the same size penis? Okay. You think it's gross and creepy that I'm curious about something like that because I'm not a twin male? <laughs> and something something brought up this question anyway. I don't remember what it was. I, I think we were watching a... YouTube video and it something along the lines was mentioned and I was curious. Okay. Do you think Ray is fetishizing gay men? I'm not sure. Uh, that doesn't seem like a problem question, but it doesn't have any replies, which means 
yeah, no, no one thinks that. Because I don't even think that you know what fetishizing means. Okay, first of all, a fetish is sexual. And second of all, somebody else told me that it meant the same thing as stereotyping gay men, which I don't. Oh my god, just get off the internet, says Midnight Muffin again to a video called Untitled. And I don't know what it is. It's 20 seconds. So it must have been one of my upset videos. I don't want to listen to myself being upset. <laughs> I like how poor some of the lines are in Muffins. I used to be a fan of Ray and I still listen to Muffins sometimes just because I like the readings. But damn, some lines make me giggle for the wrong reasons. My fave is, it's a different kind of dead. I'm dead on the inside. The delivery, the delivery of the line doesn't help either, lol. I have no idea what you're fucking talking about. I have no idea. Okay, maybe it's because you don't understand what it feels like to be dead on the inside. I don't understand your problem. I think you're fishing. And then there's Ritana being mean, and they link a YouTube post. Let's see what the fuck that is. Oh, it's the... So-and-so left a lovely comment on my Let's Go to the Zoo Sims 4 video. Go check it out. Which, I don't understand how that's being mean. A lot of people misunderstood it, and that's and it was really frustrating, and I tried to explain it, but people just don't want to hear me. <sighs> go check it out, man. Go see the comment. Go look at the comment, and go see what happens. And this was after I told people that the only people who are going to view muffins are the people who have not harassed me. So... And on Twitter, I posted the comment and I said, these people make it so easy. Meaning, they make it easy to make a decision on this. It was an example of what happens when you're rude to me. That you don't get muffins. But you know what? I don't... I don't know if anybody's ever going to get muffins ever again. I don't know. <laughs> redesign of Raytona's OC Lady. Disclaimer, do not approve the language used in my redesign. I added the R word simply because Lady doesn't care about others' feelings and therefore doesn't care about the difference. Okay. Well, this doesn't seem malicious at all. I mean... I don't know why you redesigned it. She looks way too flashy, honestly, um, for her personality. Lady lives in a trailer. and She's extremely poor. Um, she's also supposed to be rather ugly. Her hair is cute, though. Um, she's supposed- she's not supposed to look like a snooty rich person. She's supposed to be that white trash who doesn't care about anybody else. So, I mean, the character design is nice, it is, but it doesn't fit Lady's personality, so that's all I have to say about that. I'm not, I'm not hating on you, it's just, I, I feel like that would be a, a different kind of character. You're one to talk, Raytana, found this on her video titled, A Couple Fans Gone Done Fucked Up. Oh, it's a Midnight Muffin one again. Somebody commented, wait, there's an entire Discord dedicated to hating you? I said, yup, ain't that so mature? I don't know what you're trying to point out. What is happening between her and Colt Kelly? Um, I'm not really sure what's going on. Apparently Colt Kelly has a private video about Raytana and she needs it as evidence for defamation. Now she's offering to pay people who have access to the video for it or have a lawyer get a warrant for it. Get someone fill me in here. There's only one comment. I'm not going to read it. Um... So, long story short, Colt Kelly is, has, uh, is breaking the law. So, this person says, Raytana makes no damn sense. I'm 15, does it count? This is talking about her not wa wanting any kids to watch her dreary stuff because it has sex scenes. Um, are you sure? 
Okay, here we go. Yeah, no, that is right. It's obvious that if you're 15, you shouldn't be able to access 18 plus comment. I personally believe 15 and up can handle it, but the law does not. If you lied about your age on your account, you need to go change it because you lied and lying is a horrible thing to do. Do not watch my 18 plus videos. You could get me in a lot of trouble. Um, I don't know what you think makes no damn sense. The thing that's underlined is I personally believe 15 and up can handle it, but the law does not. How does that not make sense? Then Midnight Muffin says one of Raytana's white knights indirectly gave me the idea to redesign Pinkie Pie, so that's what I did. Um, oh, and Midnight, M Midnight uses bases too, and you guys don't seem to be hating on her. Now, the redesign looks good. I don't see any problem with it. I mean, the colors are lighter. It looks like Minkie Pie may be in a different universe. Maybe if she were in the canon universe. So, Midnight Muffin, as much as I despise your effing guts, um, she looks fine. I don't see... I don't, I don't see any malicious intent here. Um, plus, she does look like a different um, alternate universe uh, Minkie Pie that I designed. So, whatever. Perfectly normal reaction. People who do drugs, fictional or not, disgust me. A couple months ago, there were a couple of hippies loitering outside Walmart, and when we walked out the door, one asked us if we had any pot. Mike and, Mike and Justin had to keep me from bashing the idiot's guitar over his stupid stone head. Yeah. I, 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 don't, I don't understand the problem. So... Haven't watched the last three videos about her haters, as she mentioned in the subreddit yet. If not, do you think she'll ever address us? Oh, and there's a crying laughing emoji. Well, here I am, giving you guys the attention you so desperately want. There's 29 comments. I don't think anyone has mentioned Reddit. The fact you made a community on Reddit just to hate on Ratana is sad because this anti Ratana Reddit group is new. You're purposefully targeting all of her social media on purpose. It's only a matter, matter of time for this to hit the fucking ceiling. Will she notice this? No, I haven't told her. I don't plan on causing her stress. I don't plan on telling her that you guys are on Reddit now, which is pretty sad because unlike Twitter, where it's toxic, toxic as shit, Ratana actually acts like herself on here. I actually like Reddit Ratana she's so carefree and funny and honest and honestly really nice talking to her i'm waiting for this reddit community to fuck it all up i'm placing my bets right now you guys are going to start some shit on reddit don't you dare attack Ratana on reddit y'all are obsessed at this point like shit leave her alone nobody is attacking her i'm sure as hell don't plan on messaging Ratana for any reason i don't believe anyone here does either so you can forget that idea well i'm glad that you wouldn't but you know what many people have and are also why the fuck are you here Ratana has told her fans to leave her haters alone if people discussing her faults obsess her uh, upsets her so much you shouldn't have a plot so much she shouldn't have a platform oh yeah because i believe in people being kind to each other and i have the right to try and make money because i'm disabled and can't go out there and work you guys hate on Raytana. You guys criticize everything she does. But then you guys turn around and do this stupid, the stupidest shit. Example, you guys criticize muffins, but turn around and make redesigns of the fucking characters. I'm not going to argue with you people anymore. Raytana isn't my god. Thank you. I just hate you all. Part of me just enjoys arguing, which I don't really understand why anybody would... I don't know why you enjoy arguing, but... It's pretty obvious it's me, dummy. Also, Zach is just my real name, and yeah, I enjoy arguing with you guys. It's really fun. I said you you guys redesigned the characters, even though you guys criticize Muffins, often giving it a lot of hate, which doesn't make sense to me. I noticed that, too, as people give Muffins a lot of hate, even though they obviously like it. Like, I don't mind. There's plenty of people who have told me that they don't prefer Muffins, but I have been nice about it and been civil about it. It's fine. But you people are criticizing muffins only because you hate me, and I can tell. Um, I guess this person is replying to somebody I might have blocked, I guess. So I'm not going to read this conversation. 
Um, I totally agree. I found the sub and I hope Reddit takes it down. Um, okay, but Raytona has talked about so many people she's had issues with behind their backs and all the things she doesn't like about them. Midnight, Colt, Kelly, etc. Why is it suddenly wrong when it happens to her? Um, behind their backs? You mean on the internet? Where I also... Let's see, with Midnight, that was different. And I guess I'm calling Colt Kelly out by her name too. Karen? <laughs> but... That's not behind their backs. I haven't been doing anything behind people's backs. I don't understand. Midnight Muffin says, no, she hasn't mentioned us yet. I don't think we're big enough subreddit, and I'm sorry you kept be getting harassed by Zachary. I banned him from the group for being rude to people, including myself. And then, I guess, replying to somebody else... Coda is also your nickname? Bullshit. You are a fucking liar, Midnight Muffin. You are a fucking ass liar. A fun video. Oh, from Midnight again. Raytana apologizes, apologizes to the Discord server. Zero comments. Yeah, a couple fans gone done fucked up. I apologize to the Discord server because supposedly, and I don't know if these actually were fans, it was pointed out later that it's possible that they could have just been random people trolling a random discord, but these people, whether they were fans or not, posted images of pornography and fecal matter, so if they were my fans, I apologize to the discord server because I wasn't behind it, and I don't want those people to reflect on who my fans actually are because if they were my fans or if they claim they were my fans they are not my fans because they did that because i would never do that do you understand midnight no because you're extremely unintelligent i've known you for years and you are just one of the stupidest people Midnight Muffin says, why should I care about this? By the way, the only reason I'm subscribed is for muffins. I made a video called To My Haters. Okay, what? what's your... I don't understand. I have to read the comments to see what your problem is. I like muffins too, but the thing is, she is human like all of us. We've got to respect people for who they are. And then a spoiler says, Ratana owes you nothing unless she and you both sign a legally binding contract with requirements and due dates. Even then, she is bound by contract, not your wishes. Why did you feel the need to hide the text? Make it more likely someone would read it. What? Oh. <laughs> what do you mean, what? It means that if you see blocked out text, you go, oh, what does this say? It's a psychological thing, but you wouldn't know that midnight. Why are you even here? Hasn't Ritana said she doesn't want people harassing her haters? Oh, well, I don't see that as harassment at all. <laughs> I'm not here to harass. I'm here to make a claim, nothing more nor less. She promised that after she got her channel back, the second video she'd upload would be Muffins. Didn't happen. I lost interest in Muffins a long time ago, but that bothers me. Yeah, and I made a video why I took that back. And apparently you don't care that it has to do with health and time and work and energy. I'm so very sorry that you have a problem with that. Midnight Muffin says, do you have any grievances with Raytona's fan fictions? Muffins, playing with fire, etc. Honestly, I do enjoy Muffins. It has its flaws and some parts are fairly poorly written, but I like listening to the narrations. Um, I'd honestly like to see what parts are quote-unquote poorly written so that I could, you know, say, see if I disagree or not. Because, yeah, of course it has its flaws. I'm not perfect. And... I listen back on some of the older stories and I go, I could have done that differently because guess what? The more you do something, the better you get at it. It's called practice and no one will ever be perfect. So yeah, if you're talking about older stories, yeah, but the newer stories are much better. My opinion on playing with fire is completely different. It's absolutely ridiculous how long the time in between parts is. Fuck you. 
There was also Diary of a Serial Killer, not a fan fiction, but whatever, which is completely unbelievable. It's supposed to be. What, what you think that, that fictional serial killers like Hannibal Lecter and John Kramer, you think those are believable? What the fuck? It's called fiction for a reason. Lizzie would have been caught on her first kill in the real world. I agree. Same with Muffins. I agree. Also, Diary of a Serial Killer reads like it was written by a 15-year-old, which makes sense because that's Ritana's mental age. No, I am not mentally 15. Lizzie most likely is. She is extremely immature. Um, it was written by a fictional character named Lizzie. That's how it's supposed to be written. Lizzie has a lot of trauma and a lot of problems. Midnight Muffin says, and what do those stories have in common? They're all unfinished because Ritana is a stupid ass. They're unfinished because I'm a stupid ass? No, they're unfinished because I haven't had the motivation to do them yet. I'm sorry if it's taking long, but emotional burnout is a real thing, and you're an idiot. This is what I mean. You guys act like Raytana is the only creator who has unfinished projects. As far as I know, I don't know anyone besides Ray who has been given so much hate for it. So what if she hasn't made a muffins in over four years? Life gets in the way. She's going to finish muffins. Fucking relax. Midnight, if you're going to continue to be rude, I will ban you from the subreddit. Why? Because he's telling you how it is? I mean, yeah, he probably could have said that in a more civil way, but you, Muffin, Midnight Muffin, you don't deserve it. Also, it's a story. Cupcakes, itself, has flaws. Do you think her fans are blind? In all seriousness, <laughs> it's so difficult to talk to you people. More importantly, understand you. It really is. Exam example, like I absolutely adore Keen and Gein. I know for a fact that they are not good people. They're not supposed to be good people. It's a story. You're criticizing a harmless story. Raytana writes because she enjoys it. She isn't a perfect, godly writer. Like, holy shit, I don't understand why you guys are so fucking stupid. It's hilarious. Raytana writes like a 15-year-old. Apparently, Raytana can't enjoy writing anymore because she has to please you assholes. Lizzie should have been caught. No way. The Bakers should have been caught. You're fu you're so fucking dumb. Also, Lizzie is Lizzie. She has cheat codes enabled. It's a story. It's fiction. Why are you adding logic? Ratana said it herself, too. If the Bakers were real, they wouldn't get away with most of the stuff they do. Yeah, I've actually said that a lot. You guys are so fucking dumb. It's the good type of dumb that makes me want to reply. Midnight says, never mind. I'm banning you now. And they just say, laugh my ass off. Midnight, even though they were rude, which I feel like you personally deserve because you're a bad person and you're an idiot, you're just upset that he's right. <laughs> An excerpt from my old Demian Art journal says Midnight Muffin again. I also don't like Minkie Pie anymore, as her only personality trait is being damaged, which is not true. Plus, I have a lot of other stories to work on in the moment, including other My Little Pony fix. but besides that, I totally pay money to watch Ritana and Onisen go fucking ham on each other. They actually have a lot of co a lot in common. I don't know who Onisen is. Um, manipulative toward impressionable teenagers. Wrong. Would be perfect for r slash I'm 14 and this is deep. Wrong. Colossal scumbag idiots that can't form intelligent insults towards someone half their age. Because someone reviewing their whatever. Wrong. The thing that just because people talk about them a lot, that they're being idolized. Um. Let's see. They say that love and hate are very similar. So, you know, if you talk about somebody a lot, I guess that that's, has something to say about my hatred toward Aaron. Because I think, because I know that I'm still longing for that love and, but whatever. The the point is, is that if you talk about me a lot, then 
I know for a fact, Midnight, that you did idolize me. You did. And it's like, if, if, if you really hated me, you guys wouldn't do shit like this. A conversation about me would be private between, you know, people in a private message and probably not even be that long. Like, my conversations with people in private about, about certain haters like Colt Kelly don't last that long at all doesn't know anything about the LGBT community. Wrong! Most certainly wax off to hentai. On Onus and prefers flat-chested rape victims. Okay, I don't know who this person is, but I'm glad I don't. And yes, um, I do jill off to hentai because that that's a really, really normal thing. What's not normal is flat-chested rape victims, but I prefer... When there are women involved, I prefer them to not be flat-chested, um, because if they're flat-chested, they just look... They, I mean, I know I know people are really flat-chested, like, I'm, I'm not very big at all, um, but in hentai, uh, with the way the facial, uh, the facials are, are drawn, if the girl is flat-chested, it makes me feel uncomfortable, and it makes me feel like it's lolicon. So, and then to continue, not to mention that Minkie Pie from Muffins and Abby from Stones to Abigail share one personality trait being damaged. By the way, people, if you have to state that you're honest seven times a video, maybe you're not as honest as you think. Shrug, just a thought. Um, I'm no for repeating myself, which also, again, might be a trait of possible autism. Again, I am not stating that I am autistic. It is a very strong possibility, and I will not know that until I get diagnosed. But these are the things that people have noticed of me that are symptoms of autism in adults. Man, I muffin continues to say, sounds like a plot convenience to me. And she highlighted something. So, um, then Babs began to hum softly a soothing tune, something that could lull newborn to sleep, but in their current situation, it was haunting, filling them with dread and hopeless hopelessness. Highlight, Scootaloo was trying to figure out which direction the sound was coming from, but her fear was drowning out her concentration. Unhighlight, suddenly Sweetie Belle yelped, but immediately fell silent again. This is a part in the final crusade where, um... I know this has, I mean, you know what, I, it doesn't matter if it's spoiler alerts or not because it's up for reading. So, um, the lights went out, um, and Sweetie Belle had tried to light up the place with her horn, um, but they got scared of, um, a corpse they found and Babs revealing who she really was, um, and so Sweetie Belle's light went out, and um, Babs began to hum a tune. And they couldn't tell where it was coming from because Babs was circling her. So I don't understand. Scootaloo was trying to figure out which direction the sound was coming from, but her fear was drowning out her concentration. I don't understand how that's a plot convenience, and I need to read the comments because I don't understand. Well, they replied to somebody that I can't see, but apparently Midnight Muffin said I... Didn't even think about that, plus Gulu is canonically disabled, so she wouldn't be able to fly in the first place. Um, replying again, I agree, apparently she did it with the wrong hoof or whatever bullshit. I'm glad I wrote an AU or Scootaloo and Sweet Bell survive with Riton's permission and everything. So, okay. I gave you permission to write a fanfiction, okay? Um... Then replied, um, Zachary replied, I cannot help but laugh. It's Muffins, a series that Raytona could do anything with. Y'all just seem super upset. It's canon that Scoot can't fly. Well, no shit. Muffins has nothing to do with the show. Raytona's ideas aren't dumb. The fact Pinkie Pie breaks off one of her own promises, breaks one of her own promises, was actually pretty funny. She's a fucking serial killer. Pinkie, I promise I'll let you go. I cross my heart and hold to fly, etc., etc. Scoot, I said no tricks. I will win my lied dumbass. Pinky, ha, you fucking wish, like, like, did you really buy into my bullshit? I murder ponies. So what happens is Pinky crosses her heart with the other hoof. 
and she makes up her own rules because she's a serial killer and she says if it's with the other hoof it doesn't count. Sort of like in the series of unfortunate events where I was actually inspired by this moment in the first um, book when Count Olaf tries to force Violet to marry him in a play. Um, she signs the document with her left hand and not her right hand because apparently if it's not signed in your own hand, it doesn't count. So by their logic in the book, it was signed with her left hand, which isn't her dominant hand. So Pinkie Pie would swear with her dominant hoof. If she does it with the other, other hoof, it doesn't count. But that's her rules because she's the one who made it up. Uh, muffins isn't can canon. What are you not grasping? grasping. If Muffins was canon, Discord would have saved Fluttershy. If Muffins was canon, Maud would be there. Honestly, I don't like Maud so good. Twilight would be a princess. Like, Pinkie Pie broke her promise. That's so out of character. Oh god, Ritana committed a crime. Midnight Muffin, could you tell me where she said that? And then somebody said something. Okay, thank you. Of course, she's one of those people that hates Princess Twilight. I hate Twilight in general, which is really interesting, the fact that we're like best friends in my dream world, but still. Who the fuck likes Twilight? Lots of people, don't be rude about it. It is true, a lot of people like Twilight, and that's not a problem, and it's also not a prom problem to not like Twilight. Fucking Midnight Muffin, why are you making so many mountains out of so many molehills? And then, found a while back, I never seen someone genuinely offended by No Homo until Ritana. So it was my stamp that said, hey, kids, um, okay, what does it actually say? Hey, kids, stop saying no homo. It's rude, insulting, and disrespectful. And yes, I do think it's rude and disrespectful. If some, like, somebody, I had people say this to me a few times before I read that stamp, I said, I love you, no homo. And I'm like, what the fuck? You, do, you, do you think that just because you say I love you, that, that I think that you're in love with me? And It doesn't matter if you're also a girl, okay? It doesn't matter. When you say no homo, it makes it sound like you're homophobic. I'm sorry if I have a problem with that. Wah. And here's the one. Here's this one. It bothers me that Raytona talks about her broken childhood so much. Hell, I'm pretty sure, I'm, I'm pretty she has a series where she only talks about it. Yeah, that's my into the mind one, where I'm being honest about what fucking happened to me. But then gets pissed off when people sympathize. Like, it is natural for human beings to feel sympathy for people who have been abused, neglected, traumatized, etc. You can't go on and on about it and expect people to just sit back and say nothing. Oh my god. 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 Okay. I feel like when people give me pity or sympathy, that they think that I'm small. In the sense where I am helpless in this situation. Not only that, but so many people have wrongly accused me of doing things to get pity and sympathy that it's just something that I've learned to hate. So I don't understand. Do you guys want me to feel pity? Uh, do you want me to try and get pity and sympathy? Or do you not? And it's not that I get pissed off. It's that I let people know that I do not want sympathy. I get pissed off when I'm wrongly accused of trying to get pity and sympathy. Where are you people getting this shit? I don't understand how you don't understand me. When do you think the Final Crusade narration will come out? Before or after the second coming of Jesus? Take your guesses for Ray when Raytana will release it. What the fuck? What the actual fuck? Listen. For one, I have an editor who, guess what, also has a life. 
and they had given me updates on the editing, on them editing it, and mentioned to me how they lost some of the, um, the work that she did, or he did, I'm not sure, I'm not sure of their gender, so I'm gonna say they, um, because of, you know, technical difficulties. I told my editor, it's okay, you do not have a deadline. Why? Because this person is doing it for no charge in their own time, in their own life. They offered to do this, but I know, I know, just like many creators know, that you people don't know that life gets in the way. And I understand that very much since I've been harassed for when life gets in the way and there's nothing that I can do about it. But you know what? I haven't heard from my editor in a long time. And I tried emailing them and they haven't gotten back to me. And I am honestly, seriously worried that they got COVID. And I'm worried that they might have died. And there's no way for me to know that because I don't think they told anybody to, you know, to tell me, you know, why, why would they? I'm, I'm not that important, but I'm sincerely worried about my editor. And when somebody doesn't respond to me, whom I'm on good terms with and who regularly, you know, um, emailed me, I get panicked. So, editor, if you're out there, if you've even listened this far, please let me know you're okay. And I also wish I could remember your screen name. Oh no, Midnight Muffin. So I've been commenting on Raytana's videos every now and then for the past week because I'm allowed to like the content without liking the person. I've literally done nothing to her. Even during my late 2018 beef with her. So I thought she forgot about me enough to make nice with her shit and then this happened. No. No, you did enough damage to me to where I can never forget you. And it's called Ratana Throwing the First Stone. Let's see. Well, I can't even open it. It looks like it's damaged. <laughs> so I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, he, the, okay, here it is. It didn't show up in the preview. Okay, so Midnight Muffin. I just noticed Rainbow Dash is barely in Muffins, L LMAO. And, um... This was after, okay, so first of all, Midnight Muffin literally replied to so many comments, and most of them were extremely rude toward the commenter, and guess where they all ended up? In my hide for review, was it hide for review or spam? I don't know, but I had to freaking go through all of these comments and that's something she's done before now here's the kicker and yeah here's the kicker here's where and i can't believe she actually posted this screenshot because she's outing herself as a liar i say i'm going to ask you a question and i would like an honest answer are you the same midnight muffin who was harassing me and then Midnight Muffin goes, harassing you about what? I've left a lot of comments on a lot of things in the past five years, but I've never harassed anyone. I'm not even sure if I'm, I've been harassed myself. <laughs> You've never harassed anyone. You didn't harass me. You didn't harass so many of my fans. You didn't harass that one person I don't remember the screen name of that I mentioned in my journal who believed you at first and then saw you for what you are. So I said, on Demon Art, you, uh, that's where you harassed me. You act exactly like her. And they said, well, that doesn't mean I harassed anybody, lol. I said, it's also strange that every single one of your replies to people are going into my spam folder, which caused me to have to go through, okay, so it was spam, go through over a... And then, okay, here it continues. Just, 
Uh, over a hundred of your comments just to empty the folder. You're replying to nearly every comment on Muffins, some that are years old, and I notice you're being rude to people whose comments weren't rude. You also ask the questions that have obvious answers, um, and all of these things are exactly what she did. Not only that, but she was a bullfaced liar. Also strange, I just did a little research and see that you have the exact same icon. You also confirmed a previous suspicion that I had of you being that Katie person, whom I also had a problem with. Do you think I'm stupid? I saw your screen name and thought, maybe it's a coincidence. But no, these past few days, I've been testing you to see if you were the same person, and you are. Your behavior is the same shitty behavior as before. You can't even pretend to have a good personality. I told you to never contact me. I will never forgive you for what you did, and people who... Uh, have seen through your lies. I despise you. You've done enough damage for me to be unable to forget you. Don't contact me ever again. Since when did you ever tell me not to contact you? And then that's when I blocked her. What the fuck, Midnight Muffin? What the fuck? How do you... Okay, and then she goes, her comment has nothing to do with Rainbow Dash and is completely irrelevant to the conversation I had started. Yeah, because I was asking you a question. How is it my fault that all my comments were in her spam folder? It means that you commented so much that YouTube thought it was spam, and it was. She despises me, big whoop. You can never hate me more than I hate myself, shrug. Really? Because you act like your shit don't stink. She doesn't believe I have short-term memory loss, likely thinking I'm saying that I have it just for attention. Um, no, you're, you started saying it after I started saying it. Thinks she used past in the right context, but that's a completely different subject. Above average intelligent, my ass. Past as in P-A-S-S-D is for something that passes. Like, I walked past past somebody, P S T or P A S T. <laughs> that reminds me of that Simpsons episode where Homer was like, "I am so smart." S M R T. I meant, I mean, S A M R T. That was actually um, a mistake that the voice actor actually made, and they decided to keep it in. But anyway, past as in P A S T is. A time, like, past, present, and future. I went to the past. In the past, I did this. Above average intelligent, my ass. Intelligence, my ass. Um, I do have above average intelligence. You obviously don't. Wants me to pretend to have a good personality. No, I said, you can't even pretend to have a good personality, you dumbass, which is a lie and also goes against her code of honor, ooh-woo. No, you're so stupid. God, you're so stupid. Another, okay, so I forgot to say, newsflash lady, there are other causes of STML than just a suicide attempt. Yeah, but it's kind of suspicious that you only started you know, running with that after I said it, and you idolized me. So if you do have short-term memory loss, okay, you do, but your behavior makes me not want to believe anything you say. Another newsflash, lady, you're not the only person in the world who acts like a shithead because of their past. Get over it. But, and then update. Since when did you ever tell me not to contact you? And I said, you're such an idiot. Goodbye. And then they say, honey, just because you're quote unquote smart doesn't mean everyone else is an idiot. Just because I have memory problems does not make me an idiot either. Well, you know what? I didn't see that because I blocked you. Well, on YouTube, it's hide this user's comments, but whatever. So I'm not sure why you were able to do that. So no, I don't think everyone else is an idiot. Idiot. I think you're an idiot, because you are. I spoke too soon. I am shocked she didn't pull the you're stupid card sooner, as in you are, as if I say you're in, in, um, SMS speak. 
do not ever contact me again. OMFG, I'm dying. Her videos are public. It's not like you personally DM'd her. And so what if the videos have been around for years? People rewatch shit. I probably left comments on videos that were years old. <laughs> Oh my god, I just fucking, I can't, I can't. Oh, Midnight Muffin, Muffin's big surprise, she broke her promise. I'm not even gonna read that. Midnight Muffin, Muffin's self-insert for the win. I've never noticed how much Raytana forces the main six to compliment Minkie Pie and Muffins, especially in Just a Little Girl Time. That one moment in Apple Bloom gets her cutie mark where M Minky sneezes and Twilight calls her little and cute. It's awkward and annoying, considering Minky is an OC. There's also the entirety of Inky's stellar obsession, as Stella Burst is an OC, and Marvel Inky is, in a way, a canon character. I don't... You understand that the main six are trying to get along with Minkie Pie, don't you? And Stella... <laughs> oh my god. Inky's obsession with Stella is because Stella was pretty. I designed her in a way where she was pretty. I, I just... I don't understand your logic. And then the very first post by Midnight Muffin here says... Since people seem to be afraid to post, I decided to fix the infamous AU Minkie Pie. Fix it? There was nothing to be fixed. You made a different version of Minkie Pie. Okay, whoop-de-doo. Image from DeviantArt that started my beef with Raytana. No. No. <laughs> You're so fucking... I spent like five or ten minutes on... Uh, on this in Fire Alpaca. Come on, woman, you can't even get your own character design right. She went from a mink, pink amino recolor to a recolor of Raytana's old marble plant. Is what? <sighs> Click. I don't... What? She went from a pink amina recolor to a recolor of Raytana, Raytana's old marble pie design? I don't... I see your tiny itty bitty edit with the hair, which... Which... <laughs> was some some problem you had with young Minkie Pie's hair, which started this quote-unquote beef because you made a huge deal about it and you wouldn't let it go even after I told you, you know, it's fine, you know, oh well, I explained it to you and I was chill about it and you would not let it go. What do you mean I can't get my own character design right? This design is an alternate version of it. You're so... And then she shows the original Minkie Pie design, adult Minkie Pie. And yeah, so I see the lines, but you do realize that her hair is going in a different direction, right? I don't understand. Your problems with me are... Like, no wonder people don't usually respond to your posts on here you seem to be one with the biggest problem with me and none of your things make sense to me like i'm trying to make sense out of them and i cannot god my nose is all stuffy from crying i didn't want to cry today mike was like today's gonna be a good day and i'm like why and he's like because um his co-workers and training for a shift lead so she counts the drawers today and he he would rather be doing something on the floor instead of sitting down and counting all the drawers because it takes him like an hour and whatever um and so his positivity i was like yeah today's gonna be a good day i'm gonna go and i'm gonna search stuff 
on 3D models, and I'm gonna try and 3D scan with my phone, and that's probably not gonna work out, and it didn't, by the way, because of the wrong lighting. Something I have to practice with. And I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna do this, and I just, I didn't, I didn't expect this. And I'm just, I know that all you guys are just laughing that I pointed all this out and I went over all of these posts. You're just laughing. And I don't, I don't understand, and I don't know why you guys think I'm lying about anything. I don't know why you guys think I fake stuff, because I don't. I don't understand why you think I'm so dishonest, because I'm not. And I have to, the reason why I say it so much is because I get accused of not being so much. It, I don't understand how my intentions aren't obvious to other people, but again, that might have something to do with if I'm autistic, that explains that. I honestly wish I could spend more time with my brother-in-law-to-be because he has Asperger's and I didn't completely watch him grow up. I think I met him when he was eight and he is 18 now, um, obviously because I've been with Michael for 10 years. Um... But, you know, I was shy around him because, for one, I don't know how to interact with children. And, uh, for two, he was basically like a stranger to me. I'm still getting used to calling Mike's mom, mom. Um, and it takes me a while to get on that term with people. I need to be interacting with them enough. Like, even, say, Thomas Barron, the very first Raytonite. I've spoken to him all the time. We met on MySpace, and we've spoken so much, and I guarantee that if we met in person, I would not be able to speak to him as openly as I can online, because I've never spent time with him in person. So, you know, and I can't meet people's eyes for more than a couple of seconds. Um unless I've known them, and, uh, that could be social anxiety disorder, or that could be the possible autism. Again, I don't know what to give to each disorder, because I don't know if I'm autistic or not. And, um, I just want to let you guys know that I did report this subreddit, um, because from what I read, it is breaking the rules, and, um, you know, whether Reddit takes it down or not is up to them, but I just don't know why. If you guys don't like me or quote-unquote idolize me or are, if you're not obsessed with me, then why do you spend so much energy? I don't want to spend this much energy trying to defend myself and trying to tell you guys to stop. I don't make reddits about you people. I've never even made a subreddit about myself and my and my universe. Though I've thought about it just because it would be a good place to um share art and um you know post stuff about new developments in the world and stuff, ideas that I come up with. In fact, um if you are my fans and or supporters, um tweet me and tell me whether or not you would actually like it if I made a subreddit for Encephalon. It wouldn't be r slash retonization. It would probably be r slash Encephalon. So, you know, I think it would be fun. I think it would also be fun for people to, um, to post their own art, you know, since, um, I haven't been actively trying to get my DeviantArt, um, account back. Um, just because I've been so busy doing other legal shit, so. I am sorry that I was screaming in the beginning. 
I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't be sorry. I don't know what I should even be sorry about for. Because apparently it doesn't matter how sorry I am for the truly bad things that have happened for something that I said that goes against all of my morals and something that somebody did and the Discord thought that I was behind it. That's kind of sad that the Discord thought I automatically thought of me when somebody goes and posts pornography in fecal matter. I don't know why anybody would get the impression that I would do something like that. I've never even been to your Discord. So... I don't know. I don't know why you enjoy this. I really, 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 really hate this. And you guys know that I don't deserve this. You guys know that I don't deserve this level of hatred. You guys know I don't deserve this cyberbullying and the cyberstalking, which both are crimes. I'm scared of you people. I have nightmares about you people torturing me and killing me. And I ask you, what did I do wrong? What happened? Why do you hate me? Why are you doing this to me? And usually, you either stay quiet or you say, just because we hate you. I mean, my nightmares have been rather tame since I've been taking the hydroxyzine. Hydroxyzine? Um, except for that, oh my god, there was, there was one moment, a couple, no, it wasn't a, it wasn't a moment. See, I, I can't speak, damn it. But, um, I don't even, it was a couple, it was either a couple days ago or it was like yesterday, but I don't remember because, so I had these really horrible, gruesome nightmares, absolutely just some of the worst that I've had since before taking the hydroxyzine before I go to sleep. And, and not only that, but they were extremely bizarre. Usually my dreams are more realistic. Um, the extremely bizarre ones are often happy dreams, but this was so bizarre and so disturbing. And when Michael woke me up, I couldn't seem to wake up. I just kept falling back asleep, which is not usual for me, even though I am extremely tired in the morning. I don't usually have a problem keeping my eyes open and just falling back asleep unless we have to get up early. So I told him, I'm like, I can't, I can't stay awake. So I forced myself to get up to start our routine but I felt heavy. My entire body felt so heavy. My head felt like it weighed 20 pounds and it was pounding and I took some ibuprofen. And then while I was making my breakfast, I, breakfast, I just, I felt so heavy. And I was like, I don't know what's wrong with me. I wasn't nauseous, but I was, it felt like I was going to fall asleep while standing up. And, um, so then we watched YouTube stuff, and I ate, and I was still, you know, trying not to fall asleep. And then we did rat time, still trying not to fall asleep. I was so heavy. And then I got really, really cold. I was freezing, but I had my sweater on, the sweater that a fan sent me that I wear pretty much every day, um, unless I'm too hot. And I, so I checked my temperature, and it was my normal 97.6. So, um, so average temperature is between 97.5 and 99 degrees. They say that, um, if it's two degrees above your normal, it's considered a fever. But I didn't have a fever. No fever. But I was freezing! And usually you're only, like, freezing if it's really, really cold or if you have a fever. And Mike wasn't really, really cold. And I'm... Often, I often have a higher body temperature, like, like I'm, I'm really hot all the time. Um, I don't know, I think that's a woman thing, but he, he gets cold really easily, so he wasn't, he wasn't even cold, and I was freezing. 
so then I went to, you know, playing Animal Crossing and stuff, and I was falling asleep while playing Animal Crossing. And before he went to work, he said, um, you know, if you need to take a hydroxyzine and take a nap, because the hydroxyzine makes you sleepy. And, um, turned out I didn't need to take a hydroxyzine. I just passed out. And I was out from at least 3.30 to 9 o'clock at night. I don't remember any dreams I had. Um... And then when I woke up, I was still, you know, lethargic, but I wasn't as heavy. I had a really bad headache, but it, it wasn't just near, it was nearly as bad. And then the next day, I woke up in my normal way and felt my normal amount of fatigue. It was so bizarre. There was no explanation for it. I don't remember what the point of telling that story was. Nightmares. Oh, mentioning mentioning the one nightmare that I've uh one really bad nightmare. I mean, I've had smaller nightmares on the hydroxyzine, but um it has been suppressing a lot of the stuff that really gets me, except for when I was on my period. My when I'm on my period, it negates a lot of things that my medication is supposed to do. Um so I had worse nightmares while I was on my period, even though I was still taking the hydroxyzine. Um, but when I'm, when my hormones are stable, then that's why I thought that that one might have been a fever dream. And fever dreams can happen, you know, even if you don't, even if you're not sick, you just, for some reason, your body is running at a higher temperature and you do get a fever. It doesn't necessarily mean you're sick. But, whatever, the human body is weird. I don't know. I don't know what to do. It makes me wish I could manipulate people, and I could control people, because then I'd be able to stop people from doing this shit. But you know what? I can't. I, all I can do is plead, and I'm so sick and tired of pleading. I've been trying to be civil with everybody. And you know what? When you're not civil to me, I continue to try, but you, you know, there's this one person I had to just recently block because they, they could not grasp it. So I blocked them. You know, because I knew... Because they were making me angry. They were, I was losing my patience. And I was like, well, I don't want to get to, because I'm trying to stick to this different approach to something, approach to your harassment, I did not want to start yelling at the person. So I had to stop it. And I just... I've spoken to so many people being civil toward me. So many people who are antis and probably might still be antis. Completely civil with me. Perfectly civil. And I, I did my best to be civil back and I apologized if anything I said sounded abrasive because I know from experience that people can misunderstand what I say and people can take something that I said and think it sounded rude, even though that wasn't my intention. So I try my best to tell people, I do not mean this to be rude. If I sound abrasive, I am very sorry. That's not how I meant it. And I, I'm hoping, I'm hoping people understand that I'm trying, I'm trying my best to, to not, to not lose it. And so that's why if if you just, if you can't be a, you know, I'm trying to be the bigger person. If you can't be a per big person back, then I have to cut the conversation because you're not being civil and I don't want any more arguing. I, you need to understand that. You guys are making up things, explanations to why I do things that I can't see where you're getting from. It's it's like you put all these things on little strips of paper, put it in a hat and shake it up and pull it out of the hat. 
you're grasping at straws, you know, whatever metaphor you want. And I don't understand it. I, I feel like, I feel like you're doing it on purpose. But, um, I'm planning on releasing a video that I recorded, uh, obviously before I recorded this on one of Coke Kelly's ridiculous accusations about me apparently being afraid of lesbians, even though I'm pansexual and have had a girlfriend and have never showed any behavior that suggests I'm afraid of lesbians and have in fact showed the opposite and I um spend the video showing proof. So that's fun. It's not fun that I have to do that because people are lying about me. Isn't that just so much fun? And I'm sure that's exactly what my fans and supporters want to see. I'm sure they love seeing these videos with me upset. You guys say my channel's going to shit? And it's because of you. And the fact that you guys don't take responsibility for these actions. I take responsibility for my actions. That's why I made an hour and a half video apologizing about what I said. I just feel like this amount of hate should go to somewhere where it's warranted. Do you know how many maps and zoos are on Twitter? Do you know how many people get there's the human trafficking, get kidnapped at young ages, and get raped and tortured, and their videos end up on porn sites, public porn sites like Pornhub? And then they try to remove, you know, the victims see their videos, which already is extremely, you know, harmful. But then they try to get them taken down. And it's utterly impossible unless they pretend to be, you know, a legal, uh, like a lawyer or something. Those are the kind of th kinds of things that you guys should be putting your energy into. Something that needs to be stopped. <sighs> Stuff I I wish that I could stop. I wish I was I wish I was the superhero I am in my dream world. I wish I was a superhero. I wish that I was perfect. I wish I didn't care that I wasn't perfect. That I'm not perfect. Sorry for using the past tense. My birth was a mistake. It wasn't an accident, it was a mistake. And I'm trying to make the best of it. I am trying to be human. And I'm just trying to be happy. A lot of the complaints I've gotten from the past were people hating on me for trying to have fun and be silly. You guys beat me down so hard that now I'm more nihilistic and pessimistic than ever. And then you guys complain about that too. If you want to change then if you want me to change, if you're sick and tired of things that I say or do, you need to leave me alone or build me up. Not, not build me up like, 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 like you should be trying 
to help me. I don't know how to say this in a way that... Because no matter what I say, you're going to take it literally and you're going to take it and and make make up a thing that I'm not trying to say. Okay, let me think. Okay. If you are tired of the things that are happening, then you either need to leave me alone or you need to put things aside and try to you can support me without coddling me is what I'm trying to say you don't have to comment and be all like oh I love you Rayton because that if you don't love me then you're, you'd be lying and I don't like that but I mean, I think the best way to make things better is to ignore me and move on with your own lives. Because what it seems like is that you don't have a life. That your life is me. And that alone is really, really sad. But... There are things that you can do that can fix this. That can fix my channel. That can make certain things go away. And and you refuse to do it. Like, you want me to do these things. You want me to to be more negative. You want me to be more depressed so that I keep feeding you. If I'm wrong, prove it. I'm sorry for trying to be happy. I'm sorry for trying to make a living. I'm sorry for trying to earn money so that I could can pay off my loans and pay my bills and take care of my children. I'm sorry. I don't know what else to do. I'm just trying to be something that my parents couldn't be. I'm trying... I'm trying so hard. And I shouldn't be afraid to check comments every day. I have to. Because I know that there are good civil comments. And you know, I don't count good civil comments as in, We support you, Raytana. We love you, Raytana. You know, you don't deserve this, Raytana. It's, it's anything that is civil. And, you know, it could be civil without being supportive. I have plenty of people who are nice to me, who are civil with me without needing to suck up to me. You don't need to suck up to me. I've said this so many times, and I know my fans are so sick of these videos, and I'm sick of making them. And I'm sick of crying and being scared, and... And here you go. Here's, here's, I, here's the video that you guys wanted. Mentioning the subreddit. Here it is. I already told you guys in a previous video that you won. I'm sorry to to the people who actually, you know, care and watch my stuff without malicious intent 
for for screaming and or not I don't know I'm sorry for existing I'm sorry that Aaron was a whore I'm sorry for everything I do. I, I feel like that if I walked a couple of steps and I posted that I walked a couple of steps, that you would hate on me. I feel like if I took a sip of water during a video, you would hate on me. I can't stand this. I think Michael is the only thing keeping me here. I love my children. I love them so much. They're the second thing that's keeping me here, but... But Michael... Michael is... Is the one hanging on to me. Or I'm hanging on to him. But... You guys are trying to push me so hard. But I mean, it's not like I'm going to kill myself without letting you guys know that I'm dead. And most likely, my suicide note, I'll tell Michael to post a video to my YouTube. And then, you know, just for the sake of people being able to watch my old good videos you could leave it up I don't know and disable comments on everything you know if I was the kind of person you guys accuse me of the suicide baiting kind and the whatever, trying to get attention kind, I would just fake a suicide and see what happens. Do you understand how that is wrong? Do you, under, do you understand that people don't do that? That that's not something, yeah, my mental age may be quite a few years under my, my actual body age, but I'm still an adult. Adults don't do that, and if they do, that's really scary and bad, and I don't understand it. I wish I was crazy enough to go to Encephalon, to be able to actually see the things, be able to escape to it. But that would mean that I would be insane and not crazy. Crazy and insanity are two different things. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's one of the reasons why I hate crying. Ugh. Ugh. My sinuses produce mucus like... Like it's... Ugh. And I had a bloody nose last night. But whatever. I don't, I don't know. Even though I hate listening to myself cry and scream and stuff, I did say that I would screen my Lars, so I'm going to have to listen to it after I blow my nose. So, whatever. You guys will know when comments are officially back when I enable comments on all of my videos again. And, um, if I even do that, and you guys know of videos where I disabled the comments in the past, um, where, like, it says in the description that the comments are disabled, um, I would appreciate you letting me know so I can go disable the comments on those again. Um, you know, whatever, but I don't know if or, you know, when or if it's gonna happen, but. Yep. Yeah. Um, I might also 
only keep this video public for a couple days. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't I don't have any idea what I'm doing anymore. So just If you don't like me, just fuck off. If you want things to change, then just stop, okay? Just stop. Fuck off. Leave me alone.